Welcome to Is the Earth Round or Flat? This will be a new series that investigates the claims of the Flat Earth Movement and sees if they hold up under scrutiny. Episode 1, Physical Distances. Let's take a look at three measurements. If you were to cast a straight line from Santa Luzia in Brazil's state of Rio Grande do Norte to Dhaka, the capital of Senegal, that measures at roughly 2,987.25 kilometers. A straight line from Dhaka in Senegal to the capital of the Falkland Islands, Stanley, gives you roughly 8,337.81 kilometers. Finally, a straight line from Stanley in the Falkland Islands to the capital of South Africa, Cape Town, ranges at roughly 6,234.96 kilometers. Before we project these lines onto a map, let's spend a minute to discuss map projections. Since the Earth is round, Presenting landmasses on a flat surface will require some distortions of landmass. This particular map projection shown is called the Makeda projection. The function of projections is to have curved lines on a globe translate as straight lines on a flat map. For our purposes, we'll be using the Makeda projection to map our round Earth on a flat map. As for our flat Earth on a flat map, we'll be using the azimuthal equidistant projection, which, when used as a projection, displays accurate distances of landmasses from the center. For example, a straight line from the center of the azimuthal equidistant projection to Madagascar is equal to the distance from the North Pole to Madagascar on the Makeda projection. So far, the azimuthal equidistant projection is functional and accurate, but in order to use it for our purposes, that being flat Earth, we will need to misuse it. That's because there isn't a widely agreed upon flat Earth model, but the azimuthal equidistant projection meets key features found on the majority of flat Earth models, namely the North Pole being in the center and the South Pole being all around the edges, as seen here. Thus, we will use the azimuthal equidistant projection as the flat Earth model, but it is important to note that this would not be a projection, but an accurate real-world representation of the Earth. So we will henceforth refer to this model as simply the Flat Earth Model. I would like to repeat, this is not a projection. Now, back to the three measurements we took earlier. On the Makeda projection, we have three consistent measurement lines of logical lengths. The longest line is the greatest distance, and the shortest line is the shortest distance. But let's look at the flat earth model. Once these measurements are superimposed, we can see that the three measurement lines are anything but consistent or logical. While yes, the shortest line is the shortest distance on the flat earth model, look at this. The middle line, which is around 2,100 kilometers shorter than the greatest distance in terms of kilometers, appears to be six times greater than the shortest distance, despite only being twice as long. To put this into perspective, it would take a Boeing 747 at top speed, 917 km per hour, approximately three and a half hours to complete the route from Brazil to Senegal, roughly nine hours to complete the route from Senegal to the Falkland Islands, and just over seven hours to complete the route from the Falkland Islands to South Africa. Does this seem reasonable? How is this possible according to the Flat Earth model? It isn't. When we use this same test on the Makeda projection, the math adds up. Therefore, using physical distances between locations, we can rule out the Flat Earth model and tally the scores. Round Spherical Earth 1, Flat Earth Model 0. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and continue to support the channel.